Well, hello, my beloved. Shalom. Welcome. Shalom. God bless you. God bless you, my beautiful beloveds. Shalom. Shalom. God bless you. Greetings. Greetings. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Greetings. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Shalom. Shalom. God bless you. Greetings in the name of the Lord. Yes, Father. Greetings in the name of the living God. Yes, Father God. Father God, we thank you right now. Father God, we thank you for this divine, amazing day that you have prepared between me and your people, Father God. But Father God, right now, I ask you to do, to decrease me as you increase in me fully so they can see that it is you that sent me. And it was not me that sent myself. Father God, right now, I place the blood over their lives. I place the blood over this channel, this uh, on this page. Uh, I bind the hand of the enemy. I bind every, every evil eye. I shut the door on the devil. I shut the door on the devil. I take full, full control and capacity over this channel. I take full control of the atmosphere right now. I shut up every mouth of the alligators. That's what I'm hearing. I shut up every mouth of the alligator spirit. Glory be to God. I shut it up right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Good God from Zion. Alligator spirit. Somebody's chopping away. Somebody's trying to chop this channel down. Somebody's trying to chop this page down. But I bind it up right now. Through the blood of Jesus, I bind it up right now. I chop it up right now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But glory be to God, my beloveds. Glory be to God. Uh, shalom. God bless you. Um, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm happy every day, to be honest. You know, I, I have my moments, but I'm happy pretty much every day um, because I know that the father did not have to wake me up. I know that the father did not have to breathe life in me again, um, but he did. And I'm grateful just for that because I could have been dead, sleeping in my bed, in the grave, I um, mean, whatever else. I, I, I could have been, you know, jacked up, messed up, uh, tracked up, <laughs> backed up, <laughs> glory be to God. But the Father, the Lord, kept my mind and kept my mind straight. And I always would be um, 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 thankful and grateful, um, you know, um, for, for, for the Lord keeping me and keeping you. Um, we are some kept blessed people in the living God. Glory be to God. Uh, before I proceed, glory be to God, I want to thank those who uh, wish me a happy birthday. Um, the prophet's birthday was on March the 4th. Glory be to God. Um, and I thank, um, you know, my sisters and my brothers and my sons and my daughters who have remembered that. Um, so I, I thank you so much. Um, glory be to God. I love you. Shalom. God bless you for the gifts and God bless you for just even just having me in your heart to say, hey, um, you know, um, prophets, happy birthday. Um, glory be to God. So I thank you guys for that. Uh, and for those who didn't know, that's OK. You know, um, I still love you in um, Christ, Jesus Christ's name. All right. So um, uh, today uh, we're going to be reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Glory be to God. And we're going to be reading from chapter 15. Glory be to God. Now, the uh, now I'm reading from the NIV version. Glory be to God. So now, in chapter 15, now we know it talks about the firstborn animals. Glory be to God. Free in the service. Glory be to God. Also, the year of cancellation debts. Oh, come on, somebody. The year for cancellating debts. Ah, come on now. Uh, you know, so the Father gave me, gave me this, this uh, last night to read and, 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 and to go over with you guys and to let you know that this year, this year, he is canceling away your debts. Come on, somebody. He is canceling away your debts. Now, what does canceling mean? Canceling means something that is abandoned, something that is deleted, something that is erased, something that is called off. Glory to God. So the Father is going to cancel all your debts. In this process of, of, of um, you getting blessed, glory to God, the Lord is going to make a way where he's going to cancel off, call off, delete uh, all your debts. Now, I'm going to bump down to um, uh, um, 15 and before I start to read, 15, oh, help me God, 15 and uh, um, what is this? 15 and I believe 2. At the end of 2 it says, 
because the Lord's time for canceling debts has been proclaimed. Oh, come on, somebody. Now, we know that there are certain times uh, of, of the year, okay, uh, which is every seven years, that the Father will proclaim, oh, wait, come on, somebody. He will proclaim and he will release debt cancellation. Glory to God. So we, we are in the seventh year, okay, glory to God, because, because it says because the Lord's time for cancellating debts has been proclaimed. All right, so now we know that also, um, you know, in Jubilee year, glory to God, um, back in the day, and, and you know, back in the day with, with the Hebrew lights, glory to God, um, um, they, they had a choice uh, every seven years either to leave their master or to stay in. Glory to God. All right. So they, so they had, so they had an opportunity where they could stay with their master or either they, they had an opportunity to, um, to leave, uh, well, get blessed and then leave, uh, and, and to go out on, on their own. So, so once again, there was a certain time of, 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 of the year, which would be every seven years that the father will proclaim that cancellation all right your debtors okay the ones the people that you owe will probably have to have to owe you glory to god the lord told me that the the people that you are borrowed from okay that they're gonna have to owe you says the lord glory to god all right so now what what does it mean to be in debt okay all right okay debt means something owed okay something due something borrowed you have any a balance it's typically it's money glory be to god all right but god is saying it is settled it is settled and for you to be expected to the lord it is settled and for you to be expected to the lord glory be to god hallelujah thank you holy ghost thank you holy ghost good god for zion all right so so now 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 let's go ahead and read the word of god and like I say, I am reading from uh, 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 the NIV version. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, God, God is selling us. God is selling in you. Glory be to God. In, in the process of the Father releasing your possessions. Oh, come on, somebody. Releasing your inheritance. God is saying that I am going to clear your debt. Oh, I am going to clear your debt. I'm going to clear your atmosphere. I'm going to clear the way. I'm going to make your path straight. They shall owe you. You should not no longer owe the people. Come on, somebody. He is canceling. Ah, he is deleting. He is erasing. He is calling off your debts. Mm, come on, somebody. Help me, God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Woo, Jesus. I feel God right here. I feel the Lord. He is canceling, cancelling your debts. Okay, glory to God. You are not going to have to owe anybody anything. The word of God said that we are supposed to be uh, lenders and not borrowers anyway. Okay, glory to God. So, so in the process of, 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 of us, you know, um, getting pre prepared uh, to cross over into our promised land, uh, you know, and while the Father is blessing us, you know, we're not going to have to owe anybody one single sin. Glory be to God. All right. And, and I'm going to share something with you right now before I, before I go on. I'm going to go share. Um, my niece and, and God have reminded me of this last night. So I, I know I can share this. Okay. Glory to God. All right. So she texted me the other day and, uh, and, and he was giving me confirmation of, of how uh, he has already started to do this. Glory to God. So um, anyway, so she had a vehicle that was in her name that she had given to a relative. Glory to God, years ago. Glory to God. Okay, but the relative, uh, you know, whatever happened to it, I don't want to discuss that point, whatever. But anyway, so um, it, it, it led uh, 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 her to have a balance, okay? But, but get this. All right, so whenever she checked her credit score, okay, not only was her credit score higher, but the balance of that, that vehicle that she had given away wasn't even there. Come on, somebody. The balance that she uh, that was on that vehicle, uh, 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 God don't have cleared off. Glory, glory, glory to God. God don't have cleared off the debt. God don't have erased the debt. God don't have caught off the debt. Glory to God. So instead of her owing, glory to God, she was able to benefit because her credit score had even went higher. Come on, somebody. God is doing this thing right here. God reminded me of that last night when he told me to tell the people to be expecting. And then I heard the Lord say, be expecting for an invitation. Okay. I felt like that part was to somebody in particular. But in particular, God is saying, be expecting for your invitation, says the Lord. Glory be to God. So anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so so God is doing it. God is doing it. God is 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 wiping it clean. You you you're gonna have a fresh start, beloved. He is wiping you as God is is, is pouring His anointing on your life. As God is leading you into your uh, promise, man. As as you are, as God is leading you to your treasures. As He is uh, leading you, leading you to your possession. God is uh making a way where um you won't have to owe. Anybody, anything. 
Glory be to God. If anything, the Lord has said that your debtors, all right, these lien holders, come on, somebody, will be only you, says the Lord. All right, glory, glory be to God. All right, so now let's go ahead and read. Ooh, I'm getting hot up in here. Uh, okay, it said at the end of every seven years. Now we know. Now let me get. Now we know that this was, you know, God was uh, telling the people and Moses them back at this time right here. So, all right, Lord God. So He was laying down the rules and regulations, you know, and, and the laws, whatever, um, you know, um, to let the uh, the people of God back then know how, um, you know, uh, instructions of, of what to do. All right, all right. But we are applying this to ourselves today. Glory be to God. Okay, so it says at the end of every seven years. You must cancel debts. Mm. Beloved, at the end of every seven years, you must cancel debts. This is, and then the Lord says, this is how it is to be done. Now, here go the instructions. Every creditor shall cancel any loan they have made to a follow Israelite. They should not require payment from anyone among their own people. Oh, come on, somebody. Now, God is talking about the people, the people of God. All right. Like myself and you, we are brothers and sisters in Christ. Glory be God. All right. So if you owe me anything, I got to cancel it out. If, if, if I owe you anything, you got to cancel it. Glory be God. So now because he says uh, 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 um, uh, for anyone among their own people, because the Lord, Lord's time for canceling debts has been pro uh, proclaimed. All right. So God is saying that when he proclaims something, he means it is in stone. It is now. OK. It is thus says the Lord. OK. So it is the season for us to cancel out debt a cancellation all this year as we are walking into our promised land the debts are going to just fall off i'm trying to tell you it's going to just fall off my niece had no idea how this car did, did not show up on her credit come on somebody because god had called it off god had erased it god had deleted it. Glory to god god had made those lenders abandon it come on somebody come on somebody we are talking about the supernatural god Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The supernatural God, the, the God that can do anything, the God that can uh, shake the world, the, 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 uh, the, the God that can bring the fire down, the, the, the God that made the wind, the God that made the bees, the God that made the whole universe. We're talking about the supernatural power of God, Jehovah. Come on, somebody. God can do anything. God can do anything at any given time. Come on, somebody. Help me, God. And then it says, you may require payment from a foreigner. That's people that are that 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 are that are not with us. OK, that, that are not uh, of God, like these people that are that, that, that you have borrowed money from. So God is saying, yeah, you can require money out of them, because if you go back to uh, 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 um, two, it says uh, they should not require payment for anyone among their own people. So a foreigner is somebody of people that are outside of God. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Anybody that's outside of God, I'm telling you guys, the way are going to owe you. Come on, somebody. The wicked is going to owe you. In due season, said the Lord, you shall be expecting. Come on, somebody. In due season, you shall be expecting. The wicked shall rain upon you. Oh, come on, somebody. When I say rain, I mean I'm talking about the everything that the devil has stole. Everything that the devil had, had, had took you from God. The wicked shall rain that transfer upon your life, says the Lord, because we can request a uh, 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 money from the foreigner. Come on, somebody. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My God. My God. My God. Good God from Zion. Good God from Zion. Then it says, but you must cancel any debt your uh, fellow uh, Israelite owes you. Okay. However, they need to, uh, sorry, however, they, uh, there needs, need be no poor people among you for in the land, the Lord, your God is giving you to possess as your inheritance he will bless you richly. Oh, come on, somebody. So the people, your people, because he because he is blessing his whole entire people, he's saying that where you going and and, and, and where you may be at now, because I got to you guys before, some of us are already in our our uh, inheritance land, glory to God. He's saying that it, it's all his own people, so there's no one that should be poor around you because God is, got, is going to bless, his, his, I mean, he's going to bless all of his people. All right. And then five says, if only you fully obey the Lord, your God, and are careful to follow all these commands I'm giving you today. So that's the key thing, beloved. God is saying that he can he will release the treasures to you. 
All right. He will cancel all your debts. OK, he will cut it off. He will turn it off. Only if you fully. Now, I ain't say how. We, we, we know we got some people that that half obeys God. He said only if you fully obey the Lord, your God. And you keep this command that he is saying and prophesying about today. Come on, somebody. These are for the people that are fully obeying God. Keep that in the back of your head. Fully. Now, I hear the Lord saying that that don't mean <laughs> that no raindrops won't fall on your head for the people that have not been fully uh, uh, obeying God. But because the Father is in this uh, this year of, of blessing, um, glory be to God. And, and, and if you belong to the Lord, of course, you're going to reap some of the benefits and blessing. But the ones who are fully, ah, who are fully obeying God will inherit all of this. Mm. I don't want no raindrops. I'm sorry. Give me everything. I don't want no raindrops on, on my head. Give me everything. Mm. Lord have mercy. All right. And then it says, for the Lord your God will bless you as he promised. And you will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. Oh, my God. You will rule over many nations, but none will rule over you. Glory be to God. So that, that, that's what I'm saying, beloved. The word of God said that we are supposed to be lenders and not borrowers. Glory be to God. So when the Father starts to release your, your debt cancellation, when we start to, to bless your life, God is saying that... Um, um, that 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 um you are not going you're gonna have so much so much harvest I mean so much uh bonds and stock so much of, of the wealth glory to God that 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 you are going to be lending to nations okay you are going to be lending to the people okay you are not going to be you are not going to be borrowing glory to God you are going to be able to lend okay people are going to come to you to borrow money not you going to the to the to uh to them glory to God now now now. Here's where the father gets stern at. Okay? All right? He, uh, he says, if, in seven, he says, if anyone is poor, mm, that's why he's going to hit home. <laughs> if anyone is poor among your fellow, fellow Israelites in, t in any of the towns of the land that, that uh, the Lord your God is giving you, do not be hard hearted or, uh, or uh, tight fisted towards them. Mm. Mm. God is saying, if there's anybody poor in your land, do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted to them. Mm. Rather be open-handed and freely lend them whatever they need. Now, we know, mm, we know that there are people that are supposed to be women and men of God and do not give. We are supposed to give to the poor. We are supposed to help the less fortunate. Glory be to God. We are supposed to help each other. Glory be to God. But we are so tight-fisted and stingy. Okay? Yeah, stingy. Stingy, all right? And cheap. And we don't want to give nothing. Glory be to God. You got $2,000 in your bank account and, and you swept it down you broke. That ain't broke. That's being cheap. That ain't being, that's being cheap. You can't give your fellow brother and sister, sister $20. Glory be to God. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't go and 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 and, uh, and fill somebody tank up with gas. You got two thousand dollars in a bank account. Nevertheless, a thousand dollars. I don't care. That is being cheap. That is being tight fisted. Glory be to God. The Word of God said we are supposed to help our fellow sister and brothers who are less fortunate. It don't take you to have a million dollars in your bank account, either a million dollars career, to want to pour into somebody else's life. Oh, come on, somebody. That's being cheap. But you can take your behind down to the corner market and buy a $7.15 pack of Newports. Oh, come on, somebody. Or, or either set them lights. You, you can spend your money buying a pack of cigarettes, uh, this is what I'm hearing, for $7.15. Come on, somebody. And you don't want to give to the poor. You don't want to give it to your brother and sister. Glory be to God. All right, and I'm gonna show you how God will deal with you uh, uh, um, if you don't. And it says, uh, rather be open-handed and freely lend them whatever they need. And it says, be careful not to harbor this wicked thoughts. Okay, so by you not giving, 
All right. When, okay. Now, now God is saying, and now we're going back to the to what I was saying about the uh, the harvest and, and 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 you know the Father blessing you with all this you know this wealth and whatever. Right. Glory to God. All right. So God is saying that in the process of that, do not be stingy. Do not be hard hearted. Do not be uh, tight fisted. Okay. All right. Do not uh, 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 um, embellish these wicked thoughts because thoughts like that are wicked. That's wicked. You got all this dang on money you don't want to give. It's not your money to it's not your money to keep when when the uh, rightfully so that a lot of us has been waiting and waiting for the father to unleash what the devil has stolen. I'm, I'm with you on that. But in the process, as the father has given you your birthright, ah, oh, your birthright. Th this was your birth. The devil have has has robbed us of our birthright. I'm here. Mm. 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 Lord have mercy. The devil has robbed us from our birthright. But as the father gives you back your birthright. Oh, come on, somebody. And we know back then with Esau and Joseph, we, I'm mean, sorry, Esau and uh, Jacob, we know that the, uh, uh, the, uh, when you're the firstborn, you get everything. The, the, the treasures, the wealth is supposed to, supposed to be passed on to you. But we know that, you know, in the biblical time, it was the younger, it was the older that had to serve the younger. All right. But I hear in birthright. So we know that the devil had had robbed us from our birthright. So as the father re, um, punished us, um, you know, with wealth and, and um, prosperity and all that good stuff, glory be to God. Okay, God is saying, do not uh, harbor any wicked thoughts. You have to give back. You have to help your brothers and sisters. You have you have to help the less fortunate because you're gonna have so much. You're gonna have so much. You're gonna have to give it. There's no way you will be able to, to contain everything that, that's about to be released in your life. If you, and, 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 and if you do that, that's being wicked. That's wicked. I'm here prideful. Oh, yeah. Um, shucks. I, I, don't, I don't wait, you know, 20 something years to, you know, to, uh, to be blessed. I can't afford to give her no money. I don't suffer long enough. It, you know, it, it took me this long to get here. I'm not giving nobody anything. That's not God. That's not God. We got to understand everything belongs to the Father. Everything on this earth belongs to Jehovah. So, yes, the Lord will bless us. Yes, the Father will bless us. Okay? Yes, there are things in our walk, there are things that we lost that are rightly ours. But, when you are walking in the fullness of God and you have the heart of God, you have to, you have to go by the, the, the father's rules and regulation and his commands. OK. All right. I, was, I, I, I went to uh, through Wendy's um, uh, drive through the other day and I heard the Lord say, give this woman twenty dollars because uh, she she need, she uh, she catches a, a ride back and forth to work. So. I already knew. I said, you know what? I could, I don't keep cash. You know, I, I, I go to the ATM machine, right? And so, um, and so I said, okay. So this telling me that this woman, um, uh, um, you know, she she maybe maybe was on her last. Now, when is the problem? Don't pay that much, okay? I stay in Georgia, so I I know that uh, uh, you know, the commute probably you know costs a little bit more than where I really, really came from, uh, my uh, my original home, okay? All right. So I went. I took I took myself to the ATM machine. I came back to the drive-thru, had to sit because the line was long, and I gave that woman of God $20. It's not my money to keep. And I ain't trying to say it, and the, the, the money that, thank you God, the money that I had, because I got like three or four different accounts, the money that I had pulled from, uh, I only had $167.15 in that certain account. But it don't matter. It don't matter. It ain't my money. Mm, it ain't my money. Mm -mm. I went to a Dollar General uh, two months ago. I think two months ago, yeah. And and and, and we know <laughs> the, the Lord would just come in and He'll just say anything at any given moment, right? And I'm not sharing this with you to, to be boasting and bragging about it. I, I'm just trying to tell you that you know that we're not supposed to be like that. We're supposed to give. And I don't have a lot of money, okay? All right, and, and I'm already doing. Glory be to God. Okay, so. So I, I went into side job, Dollar General, but God, I passed this cashier. It was a gentleman, 
And the Lord said, give him $100. I said, $100? <laughs> you know, I'm like, what? What made that? $100 for? Yeah. Okay. All right. But nevertheless, you know, I, I obey God. I went and I went to the ATM machine and I gave that gentleman $100. And that man was dangling near almost in tears. Okay. Because it's not my money. The father owns everything. How dare, how dare I am to keep God's money from his people? Mm. Mm -mm. No. And you have to do the same thing. Now, let me show you why what happens. Let, let me show you why what happens if we keep the money from the people. Mm. Some of y'all stingy. Some of y'all stingy. Some of y'all make good money and still don't want to get it. Mm. I'm going to tell you. All right. What, 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 what's going to happen? It says... Um, Okay, so, so now it says, be careful not to harbor this wicked thought. The seven year, the year for canceling debt is near. So God, so 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 right there, the, the Lord was preparing the Israelites before it had happened. He was giving them instruction before it was it was it was going to come to pass because he said that the the the, the seven year of, of, of the debt cancellation was near. So that you do not show ill will toward the needy among your fellow Israelites and give them nothing. All right? They may then appeal. You hear that? They may then appeal to the Lord against you. Just because it is you that the Father has blessed glory be to God with more glory be to God. God is saying he don't care about that. Because they are still his children, glory to God, and they got a right, I heard in the spirit, to petition you in front of the courts of heaven. Mm. They will petition God against you. Oh, come on, somebody. They will petition the Father against you. Oh, I, ooh, I feel the Holy Ghost. They will petition the Father against you for not giving. Mm. I heard the Lord say, guilty as charged. Oh, my God. Oh my God. They may then appeal to the, to the Lord against you, and you will be found guilty of sin. God will charge you. Oh. God will charge you if you keep this money, if you keep the things that the Father is about to unleash in your life. And, 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 and another woman, and ooh, I, I, mean, I feel the look on me right now. Another man of God or a woman of God that is less fortunate. Glory be to God. They can petition you in the courts. Oh. They can praise to the Lord and go up, 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 up against you in the courts. And God will find you guilty of sin. Because he told us earlier, come on somebody, back in 7, 7 to uh, 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 9, he, he's saying, do not be what? Do not be tight-fisted. Do not be hard-hearted, but be open-handed, free to lend. Mm. You got to give. You have to give. It's, it's a command from the Lord. You have to give. Mm. If you don't, your fellow brothers and sisters can petition you. And God is telling us today that he will find you guilty and you will be charged, says the Lord. Mm. I'm telling you, even if God tell you to, uh, to, to, uh, to give into a ministry or to give into somebody's life or to uh, pray a seat, whatever God, I mean, you know, tell you to do about your money, you better do it. Because it, it, it's not your money, money to, to keep anyway. Because that woman of God, that man of God can go behind you, who is a true woman of God, man of God, and, and, and tell the father your wrongdoing. First of all, you, I'm here right now, first of all, you have abandoned the Holy Spirit. Mm. When you don't obey what God is telling you to do in general, and the Holy Spirit is speaking to you and say, hey, you know, you know, go over here, you know, I need you to go ahead and... Uh, uh, plant a seed in this, in, in, you know, in this, in this man of God. Either I need you to help somebody buy a car, whatever the father. Cause we're talking about finances, all right. So I'm sticking with the money, all right. And and, and you know God has, has has told you this. You know the Holy Spirit had a put in your your spirit to give, 
And when you do that, when you don't do that, glory to God, you have now rejected the Holy Spirit, says the Lord. And, 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 and God is going to find you guilty. He's going to charge you. That's why I say I don't pray with people about nothing when it comes to God. But I don't say I'm going to give something and don't do it. Especially if I know that God has told me to do it. I don't, I, I mean, uh-uh, mm -mm. I don't pray with God. I don't pray with God. If I gotta, if I gotta make a dang on payment plan <laughs> to 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 pay you every week until I get get to, get to that that amount that God is telling me to give you, I'm gonna do it because God is gonna find you guilty. Mm -mm. And it, this text says, give gener uh, ge uh, it says give uh, generously to them and do so without a grudging heart. Then because of this, the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and, and, and in everything you put your hands to. So God, God said, and when, we, and when you do give back, give with a rejoicing heart. Give because you want to give. Give because your heart is full of joy. Give because God, you know, because you want to make God happy. Glory be to God. Because if, 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 if you give out of a grudging heart, if, if you give out, oh, well, God, I, I, I got to give. I mean, he's not going to be pleased with that. But God is saying if you give out of the goodness of your heart, he'll bless you even more. God, God, will, God will, the Lord will put back what you have given out and more. I have seen that happen so many times in my own life. I can, I can a, a bill can come up, an extra bill can come up in my life. And I'm full-time ministry, so I'm living up a God like like wholeheartedly. All right. So so I mean, so many times, glory to God, uh, you know, stuff will come up, right? Okay. You know, but I don't I don't trust God on it. That that will keep me through. All right. But I can pay out something, or either I can give a person something. All right. And God will restore it. Sometimes God will restore it with, with just the right amount, and sometimes God will, will restore it with more. Because I'm obeying God. Because when I give, I give with a generous heart. I give out of love. Even, even if it's not money, I give my time and energy out of love. I, I invest myself for the people of God out of love. So, so, God, so with that being said, so God will put all that back into me and more. And to you. Glory be to God. But you got to give. You got to give something. You, you, got, you got to give. You got to give back to the less than fortune. You got to give. And whenever you hear the Holy Spirit tell you to give. The Lord is saying, do, do not start nothing that you can't finish. Mm. Mm. Do not start nothing that you can't finish. Come on, somebody. If you start it, you better finish it, says the Lord. Mm. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm. Okay, so then um, 11 says, there will always be poor people in the land. Therefore, I command you to be open-handed toward your fellow Israelites who are poor and needy in your land. Okay, all right, my beloved. Okay, my beloved. So the Lord is saying in the process of, of, of us being in our land, that uh, that they, there may be some people that are less fortunate. Glory be to God. All right. Even though initially in the early Texas, the Lord has said also that where are we going uh, 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 for us among our peoples, everybody should should be blessed. That's true. But you may be the chosen one that 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 uh, begs the difference. I Meaning, as in, you might be the one that God really actually pour more into you than than to them. Because you got to understand now, all these, all these Israelites was not walking in obedience, okay? All of them was not doing We know this, this for the fact from the word of God. But there probably was some that was walking and, and was obeying everything that the father uh, uh, had commanded them. So, of course, the father uh, uh, probably had given them more. 
So there are going to be some people, our uh, fellow sisters and brothers, you know, that are going to be in our community, glory be to God, I'm hearing, or, um, you know, either our base, glory be to God, that are going to be less fortunate and not going to have as much as you uh, 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 will receive from the Lord. And, and God is saying that, you know, still, that is a command. You need to have an open hand. And you need to get back to the poor. You, you, you need to have an open hand. And do it out of love. Do it out of compassion for God. Do it with a willing spirit. Do it with a willing heart. A, a willing mindset. I got I got some daughters that 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 just that just gives. I mean, I'm serious. I got I got people that 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 just, you know, you got people that in ministry that are called to be givers, that, to, to be funders. I got some daughters, you know, that you know what? I don't have to ask for nothing. I can say something, bam, it's there. I, I just, just conversation because, you know, not because, you know, of me, because uh, that's the gift that they have. They 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 have been called uh, 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 to be uh, funder builders. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. For the kingdom. All right. So we cannot be closed fisted. And then I'm going to stop at. Um, I'm going to stop. I, I, believe, I believe I'm going to stop at 15, I, I believe. OK, so um, then it says uh, free the servants. OK, if any of, of your people, Hebrew man or woman, sell themselves to you and serve you six years in the seventh year, you must let them go free. All right. So we know that this is the year that we are going to be set free from captivity. Glory be to God. And, 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 and even, you know, uh, not saying that. Uh, let me break this down. Some people are are in this bondage, okay? And then, then some of us are free, you know what I'm saying? We, first of all, we're free by the blood of the Lamb, but our money may be tied up. You know, the things of God may be tied up because the, the devil don't has what took our birthright, okay? So that's what I'm saying. So all this is supposed to be unleashed this year, okay? I have been getting calls, uh, people dreaming about money, people dreaming about, you know, uh, uh, um, houses, uh, um, banks, whatever. So God, uh, and God is showing his people that, what is to come? These people do not know each other. All right. So, so God, God is giving them confirmation in their dreams about what's about to happen. Glory be to God. All right. So, all right. So, um, so we know that this is the year for us to to receive our freedom. Okay. Freedom in our finances. Freedom in our wealth. Freedom in our treasures. Freedom of our inheritance. Okay. All right. We we we're going to be set free, um, out of all captivity. All right. Now go back to five. All right. Remember. Go back to five and it says, if only you fully obey the Lord, your God, and are careful to follow all these commands I am giving you today. So for those who have been fully obeying God, you're going to be set free from everything. You're going, you're going to be set free, set free, set free, free and free and free and set free. All right. Glory to God. All right. So um, when it says in 13, and when you release them. Do not send them away empty handed. Supply them. Um, supply them. Uh. Uh, liberally from your flock, your threshing floor, and your wine press. Give to them as the Lord your God has blessed you. Remember that you were slaves in Egypt, and the land your God redeemed you. Yeah, this is why I give you this command today. All right, that he, he's giving us confirmation again. Okay, you know, as as the ones that are uh, that are coming out now, a bondage I'm here. So let's say you know you are already out and about, you are already walking in your wealth, you are already walking in your success. You are working in your ministry, and then you have brothers and sisters that, that are just coming out, you know, that they're coming out of bondage, you know. And majority of the time, a lot of time when you come out of bondage, you know, you're going to struggle some. All right, you're going to struggle some. So God is saying that you need to pour back into them what well, he has poured back into you because you was once too in bondage. You, you, were, you was once a two like them, glory be to God. So now as a fellow sister and brother, it is your responsibility ability to not just, 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 just to supply uh, for them, but to supply to them from your own livestock, from your own uh, 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 closet, from your own building, from your own success, from your own wealth. You, he, he wants you to give um, your, your brothers and sisters um, uh, uh, to serve them out of your own stuff. OK, out of your own stuff. Don't go ask Susan or, 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 or Sister Lulu or, 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 um, or, or Tommy Mo. Um, glory be to God. Uh, can you loan Sister Pharaoh? Uh, glory be to God. Uh, 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 you know, some money. No, 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 no. He wants you to do it. It's you. It's you. He want your money. He want the money he giving you. 
<laughs> he wants you. Because here it says, it says, you know, uh, for you to supply your own flock, your threshing floor, and your wine press. Okay? Because we know that it was one time we was bounded up. We was in Egypt. Glory be to God. You know, uh, we had to struggle. We was there. So as the, as the people of God are coming out, as, as, as the other tribes are being released, as the other Gentiles are being released from their bondage, and they might be on uh, 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 um, land zero, it's your responsibility to invest in them from your home, from your ministry, from your business, okay? And whatever else the Father has granted you, he wants your stuff, which is his stuff. Don't go ask somebody else to help that sister or brother out. He's speaking to you, okay? <laughs> Glory be to God. So nevertheless, beloved, God is, 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 is in the business, I'm hearing, for canceling out all our debts. Supernaturally canceling out all our debts. And I thank God for my niece who shared it with me because, like I said before last night, when I was when the Lord gave me this word from Deuteronomy 15, uh, the second thing he reminded me of was my niece um, that said that, you know, about the car was just wasn't even there. He is canceling out debts. Mm. And especially when you are coming out ah, of your bondage, when, when, when you are being set free of your finances, glory be to God, all right? Things like that takes a domino effect, glory be to God. Things start to happen when the breaking and the shifting starts. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. So the Father is canceling out our debts as I speak. Oh, he is canceling out your debts. He is deleting your debts. He's going to cause these, these debtors to abandon those debts. He's going to erase the debts. He's going to call off the debts. The debtors may perhaps are going to owe you. Sometimes we know we, we people, when we have uh, uh, loans out there, these people be, be adding extra interest on stuff. <laughs> and, and we just go ahead and keep paying and keep paying it. And they perhaps may be a lot of you out there whenever, you know, the, the, the debt cancellation uh, has processed it, glory be to God, because it's already processed in the spirit. It's not going to come to the earth, glory be to God. There, there may be a check coming your way out of that. They, they, they may have been overcharging you. You know, I, I'm hearing uh, re reimbursement. They, they, they may have to reimburse you. Come on, somebody. Because sometimes we, we, we come in this uh, rotation of flowing and just say, hey, you know, I'm just going to pay it. I'm, I'm going to pay it. You know, I don't care if, if it's a dollar more extra, I'm going to pay it. Glory to God. So perhaps some of these debtors are going to cut you a check and say, you know what? You overpaid us. Here you go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Lord have mercy. Well, I love you guys with the heart of Christ. Shalom, shalom. God bless you. Remember, women. Women, 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 my beloved daughters of, uh, of Israel, glory to God. Um, we have Bible study weekly at 7 p.m. Eastern time, um, glory be to God. And, and we also have um, a prayer, um, a prophetic deliverance uh, prayer line every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. We just started the, uh, the men prayer line um, introduction um, last Tuesday. I'm going to bump it back to every Thursday night at, at 7. I'm going to make flies for that and put the word of God out, glory be to God. Um, yeah, and so, you know, and, and the men's line, you know, it's, it's coming along. Anything that, that just started, you got to give it a chance to grow, glory to God. But I thank the men that did show up uh, that night. So the men, um, so you're welcome to join in every Thursday night, not this Thursday, but starting next Thursday, glory to God, um, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And it is the same number, okay? It's the same number that you see that the daughters have, um, glory to God. It's the same numbers that you were calling to. Um, and, and the access number always stays the same. It does not change, okay? All right, so the access code, I don't care if you are in a whole different country, it always remains the same, okay? All right, but if you're in the USA, it is the same uh, dialing number and it's the same access number. Now, if you're in another country, um, you should have a different number, but the same access number. So once again, I'm gonna repeat it slowly. So every Friday night at 7 p.m., we have women's Bible study. Glory be to God, 7 p.m. Eastern time. All right, and then every uh, Saturdays, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern time, we have um, uh, women's uh, pro uh, prophetic deliverance prayer. We, we, that is that is that is going good. It is picking up. Glory to God. Um, there's people out that, that are getting healing and and, and actually um, deliver off that um, off of the prayer line. Glory to God. Um, I'm hearing the word sensational. That prayer line is going to be so sensational in the spirit of God. All right, and then starting next Thursday night. 
at 7 p.m. glory to God, we're going to um, 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 restart um, the men's prayer line, glory to God. So I thank you for those who have been donating, who has been trusting God, um, 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 you know, um, by the voice. I, I thank you so much. Um, and I, I just, I just thank God for your life, for, for the, um, for all who have, who have poured into the ministry. Um, um, but I want to just do a shout out to those who have recently just did it. Um, glory to God. I thank God for you trusting the voice of God. Um, glory to God. May the Father I pour into you because a lot of times we need, we need to invest. And, and, and you know, in real solid grounds, and um, and, and also um, to ministries that are flourishing, that that are that are new and flourishing. Glory to God, who you feel like you know, God is saying, you know, you know, this is this is some good grounds to uh, to, uh, to sow into. Glory to God. But nevertheless, you, you put your finances into whoever the Father tell you to do. Because like we were saying right here, if you don't do it, God, God is gonna He's gonna find you guilty. Glory to God. I love you guys so much with the heart of Christ. I'm um, Shalom. God bless you. Uh, my email address. Um, and my ministry website, all that would be up under every video. If you just go up on the video and click it, you will see everything you need to know. Or if you go to the, the very last page uh, where it says about the ministry, you will see if you click on, I think, ministry website or and then you got everything else you need, whatever. Um, it's, it's right there. You just got to take your time and look around for it. Glory be to God. I love you guys with the heart of Christ. Uh, shalom. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom.